Hey guys, Corey here. The Digital Nerd Advocates are honored to be a part of Phoenix Overdrive's Extra Life team. Put your money where the miracles are. You can be a hero to the kids of Children's Miracle Network as fundraising for Extra Life continues through December 31st, 2016. National Game Day has been announced and will take place on November 5th, 2016. I will be joining Lee, Ray, and Becky of Nerd Overdrive, as well as others, in upstate New York to help celebrate and raise money for Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Remember that you do not need to select Phoenix Overdrive's primary hospital to raise money for. You can raise money for your local Children's Miracle Network hospital, wherever that may be. It's for the kids. Check out digitalnerdadvocates.com slash pawnextralife for more details, as well as links to the Extra Life team page and the Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection PS4 bundle raffle information. This topic's going to be kind of short. I want to, I want to talk about, this is a topic I talked about with a couple people the other day. Pre-ordering in collector's editions. Mm-hmm. Are they worth getting are collector's editions worth pre-ordering and is pre-ordering worth it in general i don't do it collector's editions are sometimes worth it pre-ordering in general is used to be a good idea but now it's just now no need yeah for it, it used to be cool mm-hmm. but now like with digital and stuff i think mm-hmm. that's really the, the pre-ordering the pre-ordering the thing that they did poorly now is that they're giving content to people for pre-ordering a game that they shouldn't be yeah well like sometimes like PlayStation, like on the PlayStation Store, I pre-ordered South Park, Fractured Butt Hole, and I got the Stick of Truth for free, right. which I kind of think that's, I mean, that's a cool. decent incentive, especially if you know you're going to like the game. That's fine. I'm Dishonored okay 2, that. you get Dishonored, Remastered. Rise of the Tomb Raider, you get Tomb Raider, Definitive Edition. I think if they're giving you like the first game for free, that's and you know you're going to like it, like how, how, how do you, you say no? you're like it, though, if you haven't played uh, the first one? Yeah. I mean, if you've played the first one... Then, but then why do you need to pre-order it and get the first one if you've already played the first one and have the first what one? What if you played the first one on 360 and you want it on your new console? Well, then that's fine, but... The, the pre-orders I have a problem I with mean, are the ones that, like, they give these special in-game items that you can only get for pre-ordering it, and then you can't ever get them later on. Yeah. I'm fine with them giving a free game that's, you know, a free $5 game with it. Yeah. Because then that, you know, that maybe gives you to play their games that you previously didn't play and realize you really are going to like this one, so it gives you, a, you know, an incentive to actually get it. I don't really necessarily need, see the need for you to pre-order it in order to do that. I think they should maybe offer it, like, within the first month of the game being out, that whole See, that's deal. the thing. Like, the way they announced it, they said if you pre-order this, you get this for free. But I guarantee you, if you buy a Fractured Butthole a month after it comes out, you're going to get the Stick of Truth for free. Okay, I, then then that's perfectly fine with me. That's a, a great way to do pre-ordering, I guess, or purchasing a game. Well, I'm saying like after the game comes out, I guarantee you they're still yeah. going to give you that game. Well, yeah, that's that's how I think it should be for any of the games that you like. I don't think you should necessarily have to pay the money ahead of time before you have even been able to see what people think of the game. Right. I think you should be able to get this content even after you see reviews of this game, mm-hmm. so you don't end up, you know. What if, you know, it comes out and the game's absolutely trash? What if it actually is a butthole? Like, <laughs> I think it'd be pretty good. But... I mean, well, not that game itself. Well, that <laughs> one will be good because we, we know what the first one was like. We've already seen enough of this one to know that it's going to be a great game. But, I mean, they're, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's just like when, you know, pre-ordering of No Man's Sky shouldn't have been a thing. I mean, I, I did it, but that's just because I had leftover Steam money, but... You didn't want to spend the three that other guy spent to play. The oh game yeah, to get it like thirteen hundred dollars or something. Days ahead. You didn't want to do that. No. Oh, oh, that guy's got to be pissed. Um, uh, he played it for like forty hours. He's fine. Yeah, for that you, much. You know money? what? You have no choice. If you spend that much money on a that's game, his fault. That's his have, problem. You have to put that many hours. Yeah, but what game costs thirteen hundred dollars to pre-order? That guy's an idiot. Not that game. That guy's an idiot. No, I I don't know. I think pre- the pre-ordering bonuses should be done with. Unless it's something that everyone has access to. Well, most most games now, how they do it is, you know, pre-order it and you get this shit, but then you also get it a couple months later, and then you gotta buy it anyways. Like, I, okay, I mean, I, I'm I'm, kind of, I'm okay with that. No, I mean, not always. There's a lot of games I see where it's not that's not the case. I think you see that more times than you see something where it's like they offer it up to this pre-order, and then you can't ever have access to getting it. I, in my experience, it's just okay. mine. I don't. We we play different games. Yeah. Uh, most of the games that I've played, if you pre-order it, then whatever they're 
adding on with it then you can usually still get down the line but just much later on yeah but then you also have to pay 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 for it yeah so like and like by the time it's available like i'm gonna i'm gonna use destiny as an example yeah if you pre-ordered the taken king last year you i mean the exotic the exotic uh marks that you got the uh, class items that wasn't for pre-ordering though that was for the the legend the legendary edition, but for some reason I still think you got them if you pre-ordered. But anyway, I, no. I, I pre-ordered, he pre-ordered it and didn't get them. And I did not get them. Okay, then I'm going to use Vanilla not, Destiny. I did not example. pre-order the collector's edition because I had all the other stuff. I didn't need to pre-order the collectors because that the collectors gave you the others like raids, like Crota and stuff too, right? No. Then what was the, what was the difference between the collector's edition and just doing the the regular one? The class items, uh, different armor. I think Shared. the collector, oh, the collector's edition we also had came. had a long conversation about this, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. About the collector's edition being an extra, like, it costs more to pre-order. The, the collector's, collector's edition. It costs more to pre-order. The collector's edition came with Vanilla Destiny, Dark Below, that's, and House of Wolves. That's what I just said, and you guys said no. No, the the no, it didn't. Yeah, it did. I thought the it sixty dollars version came with Vanilla that's Destiny. Right. Yeah, and the, the, the physical copy. But then you could also get get like just a oh, another because there was, it was, there there was, was an like, eighty dollars one. Yeah. that came with Vanilla Destiny. Right, like there and was the, like the one that I pre-ordered, which was only like thirty or it was forty. 40. It was and 40. that was just the Taken King. Then there yeah. was one in the middle that was sixty. That, was the Taken King it, that got the, the stuff. The stuff. The stuff, the that, stuff that I didn't want. And then there was the eighty dollar version that came with both. We right, had with a everything. very long conversation back in the day. I remember. Yeah, this about, was on like the third or fourth like episode long, of this Weekly was like a Strike. Long time ago, we had a long conversation about which one and which yeah. one you should pre-order, and we clearly pre-ordered different ones. No, uh, <laughs> no. Well, did not take I didn't. My I didn't. I I pre-ordered the forty dollar one, yeah, but so when I made the switch from like 40, physical 30. to digital, I bought the legendary edition. Yeah, yeah. Which, so means that, would, which means so that's how I got the class. Yeah, yeah, so you just got that. Okay. You didn't have it for a while. Because I hadn't seen you with that stuff before. Okay. Like that's, then that must have been what happened. Man. Okay. Well, then I'm going to use Vanilla Destiny as an oh, example. Okay. That was a bad example. Cause if you pre ordered <laughs> Vanilla Destiny, you got the Vanguard Armory pack. And by the time you hit Venus, those weapons were and worthless. armor were worthless. That's like Diablo. Back when you did, if you did Diablo three, the thing that I have, the the pet build or whatever. No, there's like I can't remember what they're called, but it was a it was a piece of armor that you could wear very early on, and it did give you bonus XP, but it only like it was a crappy piece of armor, so eventually oh, it wore yeah. out. Yeah. But like it did help you boost through the beginning, like you leveled up faster in the beginning, but then at a certain point that armor was so bad, the XP boost you were getting like it wasn't good enough yeah. to like outweigh how much damage you were taking. Mm-hmm. So like stuff like that, and that I don't think I don't know if you could buy later on, like just that specifically. But no, that's yeah. not that's not like a game changer where it's like, yeah. oh, I'm so pissed that you have that and I don't. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, there's like Overwatch skins now that you could only get if you, you know. There's them. one for uh, the sniper mm-hmm. that there's, I that I cannot get. There's one for because mm-hmm. um, I did not Reaper as well. I, mm-hmm. Well, there's a couple for like no no there's like. Well, because the, there was the collector's ones that you could get if yes. you bought the collector's edition. And then edition. there's like a pre-order and then one. I actually have the pre-order one for Widow. I have the collector's edition one. Oh, I didn't get the collector's edition. I do not so. have the pre-order one, and that's for, uh, what's the sniper's name? Widowmaker. Well, it's not for like Widowmaker. She has one. That's like the only one that I cannot get. Oh, I have that one. And I, so I'm not that upset about it, but that's just me. I mean, yeah. I don't, you know. Skins, I, I have no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm missing so many skins right now anyways, and yeah. like, I can't, like, I don't care about that one. And I don't even yeah. like her anyways. Yeah. Yeah, it was a character I was in love, love with. Maybe. Yeah, have you guys ever had any pre-order horror stories? I don't know if I want to talk. Like, I don't pre-order a lot, but this was back before day. This was back during PS3. I, I pre-ordered um, SOCOM Four because okay. it came with that. Gun. The gun? I have one in my parents' basement. There's one. <laughs> I have one. Hold on. The PlayStation I'm, Move. I, I, one? I have to go get it. And like, <laughs> we were so excited. <laughs> And we like went out that night to GameStop, and that game was so fucking bad. With the gun, the gun was awful. See, like I, uh, you, you couldn't kill anybody with that. Fucking see, thing. see, I got mine with Killzone Three, and I actually thought it worked kind of good. Brian's going to get this gun. I'm pretty sure I still have it, but but like I don't pre order it, but that one was bad. Oh god, Brian's going to get this thing. I'm pretty sure I have it. Brian's going to get the gun. He's walking. I say he's walking. I can't even. He's going over to his game game closet thing. He's picking something up. This is for the audio version. 
of course, you're just staring at me and Joey if you're watching the video. I mean, okay. we, I, I could have been talking about my pre-order stuff. Okay, you can talk about yours. I don't, I don't even know if I want to anymore. Oh. I don't even really have Joey? Any. Oh my gosh, that thing is amazing. It still has the PlayStation Move thing It on still it. has the Move in it. Is it even charged? I don't fucking know, man. This is it right here. <laughs> I got this thing. You know, you can, you can adjust the, uh, you know. But, like, you had to move with this. Yeah. It was very difficult. <laughs> so, uh, does, it, does the trigger do anything? Yeah. Yeah. Does it, like, can push it, something? Yeah. 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 Um, it yeah. does something. Oh, okay. But like you move with it, it didn't work well mm -hmm. with the. Game. You basically had to stand still and shoot. So things. then, like you know, you had people because clearly not meant for online play. That actually, that it, thing. You know, I'm sure it worked okay. No, with that thing. Zone. No, that thing worked good with like. Remember the Resident Evil light gun games no, and I, like I uh, Dead Space. Of the Dead. House yeah, of the Dead. those types of games. That was actually kind of cool. Yeah. So I guess it's not that bad of a horror story, but. Ah, <sighs> man. Had potential. I'm not sure what the fuck this is. Look, you can even like change your fire rate with it. It's pretty, uh, you know. You better keep that, Brian. PlayStation VR is coming. That thing's gonna. They're they gonna bring it back. They're they, gonna bring it back. No, they're they're not making anymore. They're just selling their unsold inventory for the future <laughs> VR. Games. Pew pew pew. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm not getting rid of it. I'll tell yeah. you that, man. Can can that just be a part of the prop? Part uh, of the. There's like buttons all over the fucking. Place. Can this just how be a prop to, for our set? Like, how am I supposed to push? And do all this. Actually, no, it worked like that. But, like, this? <laughs> That's a button on the bottom? Yeah. You sure it's not just to release, like, something? I, I think it's how you get the move sure. controller out of the bottom. No, no that's this is the release. This is how you get that out. Oh. You is that reload? Is that, like, like how right, you're supposed so, to? Like, you literally right. have to, like, take your hand you're off and start, act like you're reloading? You start and select. You, got, you know, you're like... But, I mean, like, is that reload? Is that what RL stands for? <laughs> like, is that... You have to, like... I don't know. Hopefully you're... And you just, I don't know. I don't know, man. Too many fucking buttons for me, but. Oh my gosh, I hope people are watching the video of this. This is amazing. And uh, I'm pretty sure you could put a scope on you it. You could. I yeah. am pretty sure what that's what this is for. Yeah. Well, what else would it be for? A second move controller? The, the, well, no, to put my, hot, to put my hot pocket on so I could <laughs> eat it as I got my ass kicked while using it. That was just a bad game. That was so disappointing because it's for my, so uh, was one of my Taco favorites. Bell soft taco tray. Oh, dude, you could put like a soft taco on there and just like munch your way down to it. <laughs> Uh, you can adjust it, like if you want to snipe. I don't know. That's not really, really not helpful. <laughs> didn't kill too many people with this, I'll tell you that. I didn't think this topic was going to be this exciting. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I don't even think I ever pre-ordered anything that came with anything like that. Huh. Well, well, you missed out. Well, I pre-ordered Black Ops 1 and it came with that little got, RC car. Yeah, yeah I almost did that. I almost did that, but yeah, I pre-ordered the collector's cool. edition so I could get the zombie maps from the previous World of War game. Yeah. yeah, and I, I did. I did do I, that, I, I, but I have done that. Yeah, but uh, that's not how it is for the new Call of Duty game. I don't have to pre-order that one. It, like the, the old Call of Duty just comes with it. If you right? buy the eighty dollars version, how do I get the old? Because I saw a you can't. You can't before. buy. You cannot buy Modern Warfare Remastered separate from right. Infinite. I know Warfare. that, but how do I? I, I, I have to spend. $80. You have to spend eighty dollars to get Modern Warfare Remastered. God, and I saw a trailer for it. I know Holy it looks amazing, shit, it dude. Looks did good. you see the memes going around and said pre-order the Modern Warfare Remastered Collector's Edition and you get Infinite Warfare for free? It's pretty much what <laughs> I are buying the game, for. which is sad because like $80. Infinite Warfare, like kind of seems like, like it might be. If it okay. came with something like this, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It comes with a free PlayStation VR mission. <laughs> that I don't know. That, that's just that pisses me off because <sighs> it seems like more pe people are excited about uh, Modern Warfare Four remastered. You know what people yeah. are gonna do? They're gonna buy the Call of Duty game. They're gonna turn it back in. Well, I guess like yeah, they could. They could try to do that. Yeah, Can probably. you do that? I don't know. Probably, but you're only gonna get forty bucks back for it if you trade it in within the first week. Well, okay, I'm saying I'm saying what people are gonna do. Like, they're gonna, they're gonna, for, they're no, gonna, they're gonna put Modern Warfare on the disc. They're gonna people are gonna spend oh, eighty yeah. bucks and sell the Modern Warfare Remastered for seventy on the internet. Probably. So, so they like get they a game for money. ten bucks. You get the one Call of Duty game for ten bucks. Probably. Or even just sell it for more than that, probably like a couple bucks more, and then God. just sell a bunch of them. And make the trailer and then, like they were using you know because I was watching it. And the M fourteen M sixteen, I can't remember what it was. Was like such a beast of a gun back in that game. Mm -hmm. And people, like they were showing it. Oh, I just I love. I'm gonna have to fucking spend that much because I I'm gonna have to get that game. Yeah. 
Yeah. I shouldn't have watched the trailer, even though I knew it was going to be good. I know. I know. I want Modern Warfare Remastered, but I have no interest in, infin- in Infinite oh, Warfare. Oh, zero. Yeah. But God damn it, I'm going to have to get it. Yeah. Not, I'm not getting it. Is there an ice cream truck parked in your video room? No, it's the uh, it's laundry. Uh. <laughs> it sings you a song. Joey, what's your pre-order there? horror story? I don't. I pre-ordered so many games like in high school. I don't even remember if there were any bad because it was just a flood of them. Yeah. I remember at one point there was a game I was buying. It was released at the same time as another game, and there was literally me and one other person there for one of the games, and everyone else was there for the other game. And I don't even remember which game it was. Yeah. That's how this one was because this is when this came out the same time as one of the Mortal Kombat games came out. Uh-huh. And everyone was there for like pretty much Mortal Kombat. We were there for these fucking guns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, No Man's Sky was a lot down after I got that, but mm. I mean, I think everyone's tired of hearing about that. What a disappointing game. <laughs> uh, well, I don't really have any pre ordered horror stories. I pre ordered Diablo 3 for the PC, played it through on the first difficulty, that's fine. Played it through the second difficulty, that's fine. Got to the. Oh, no, because at that point, there was four of them. So I played through the first three. It was all fine. Yeah, and I got to back when it was... got to Inferno and was like, this is straight up cancer. Like, you literally... It was bad. I got stuck yeah. in Act 2 and couldn't yeah, the balancing do anything. Was a, little, was a little messed up. Yeah. Back then. Yeah. They've, they've greatly improved. I mean, that was way before it even came out on consoles. That, that's how it was. The balancing wasn't bad for us on consoles, but we only right. had the, the four difficulties at first. Right. We didn't have how it's set up now, but... Like you could like if you played the one before you could get through it, but I had read up on it because I was so mad that it wasn't, and I loved Diablo two back when I was doing PC gaming, mm-hmm. and uh, people were bitching about Diablo three pretty bad when it first came out. Yeah. Not only that, but the auction house. Well, and it then, was the <laughs> and then also the difficulty. So that's only reason. And then I had the four difficulties. That's that's how it was when it first came to. Oh, but it was still toned down compared to what was on the oh, original. Oh no, yeah. Like I said, as long as you did like the one before, you just kept going, and it was easy. It was the the problems with the PC version when it came out was literally the auction house. People were just selling; they were selling their games for real life money, and then just making a living off of playing this game. Uh, The legendaries themselves were complete crap. The rare items were better because they could roll so much higher stats, and they could roll six stats instead of only being able to roll the four or five on a legendary. So. In all, all of the rare items were way better than any of the legendary items. Uh, in, in order to get anything decent, you had to play the game so long that, like, the only way you could, you know, that you would finally get something so good that you could, and you wouldn't even use it because you'd sell it on the auction house for real money for three hundred bucks, or you'd find someone like not even on their auction house and sell it to them for like a thousand dollars. I heard people doing that. Like, that's how ridiculous it got. And then. There was builds in the game that literally, if you had the right gear set up, you couldn't die. Yeah. Especially in the vanilla version, you didn't even need that much. Of, like all you needed was, um, you need the lowest health possible. You needed a little bit of life regen and then a wizard with the one ability that made it so you couldn't die because it, you, the most damage you could take was thirty three percent of your health and your life regen was way higher than that. So your life, would never your life would never go down. Literally, you had to get hit by three attacks all at once to kill you. So and not be trying to hit anybody. Right. It was it was pretty ridiculous. Mm. It was a broken game. It was it was a terrible <laughs> game at launch, and it's way better now. It is way better now. Way better. I heard. I, I read up on how bad it was at first. One last question. Okay. Quickly, what's your favorite collector's edition that you've ever purchased or seen? I don't know. Blizzard always has some decent collector's edition. Yeah, they usually have cool stuff with it. Yeah, that Overwatch one was actually pretty cool. I liked the... That's the only one that I have, I think. I don't really have another collector's edition. The Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ord collector's edition. I bought the digital collector's edition. It came with another mount. You got to fly around on a griffin. Uh, It came with a different helm, and then I think a piece of jewelry that gave you increased experience or something like that. So it was all like, you know, just, you know, glamour items or whatnot, nothing spectacular, but it was, the Griffin was really cool. Yeah. It was really cool. I honestly don't I think, I think my favorite collector's edition experience was either Halo 3 or Gears of War 3. 
invited. Like, I went at midnight both times with some friends from work. I guess this. <laughs> and my like, horror story I remember, and my best. I just I remember sitting in the car opening the Halo 3 Collector's Edition because That's it came it. with the helmet and I wanted to see the, the helmet. I yeah, never I bought crying. any of the like really huge no. like ones. I, and if I bought like and the Collector's Edition, it was always like the $20 more one, not the... Not yeah, hundred dollar more. One hundred and twenty. Where's it? Yeah, go? and then I instantly the Halo regretted Reach it because cool. the Halo the Halo Three one was available like three weeks later for like the regular price. I was That's like, oh, so you really did cry. Yeah, the Halo Reach yeah. one was cool. The one that yeah, came the with the statue. statue with yeah, that one's really cool. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't really like Halo Reach, but that statue's really cool. Yeah, you didn't like Halo Reach? I, I never actually, finished it. I only really? went, I only made it through the third mission. Oh, I liked Halo Reach. Uh, I played that. That's probably the ODST is my favorite Halo. Other Halo Reach four. was probably the game I played the most out of all the Halo games. Granted, I didn't have an Xbox when Halo Three came out, so. Nice time to do oh it. Gosh, Halo Three was awesome. Halo yeah. Three was pretty. I did play a lot. Of yeah. Ah, uh, and then the Gears of War Three one. You got that giant uh, Marcus Phoenix statue of him like leaning on the Lancer, which was really cool. I mean, that is cool, but yeah. I don't buy this. I'm actually gonna. I have actually have two of them. The Skyrim one. Came I'm actually the, gonna bring one over here and sit it on the desk. I think it'd be cool. A statue of uh, the dragon. The dragon. Yeah. Whatever. Alduin. Alduin. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. I actually almost pre-ordered that one too. So, Something know, else came out. Even though it's probably like my like one of my favorite games of all time. You don't want a sweet dragon statue? No. <laughs> I just want to play the game. I just want to kill. Them. 